all right guys um over the past few months i've been searching all over online for um the most conservative form of a stand for a boat motor that i could find and i realized i'm not going to find anything that um is going to be sturdy enough to take the weight and um and use up as least amount of wood as possible so i have to come up with my own design so this is what i got i bought a piece of two by six wood all the other designs that are online will need um three times this amount of wood for a stand that's roughly the same same strength all right but this design um uses a third of, of that amount of wood and um i guess i'll show you guys how it's done um this is a, a 18 inch piece two 18 inch pieces um this is a three feet piece because the um the length of the um from from where the the, the boat where the transom will be to the below the propeller will be about here so i cut this to just about two inches extra and um and this will this will rest on the ground so um what i'm gonna do you i'm gonna sand this down and um and put some sanding sealer on it so it's gonna have a, a nice finish this is a green heartwood by the way so this is gonna work this is gonna be um straight up this is going to be on this short end over here this is going to go all the way down it's going to go down i'm not going to tap it down now this the three feet piece this is going to go like this and then these are going to support it at the back and in front um that's basically what you will have the least amount of wood as possible and um still sturdy enough to take the weight so um i'm gonna get sanding and i'll show you guys the result all right so now i have finished sanding it down and i'm gonna pre-drill all the holes that's gonna hold it together because if you just drag some nails into this wood, it's gonna split because green heart is a is a solid wood. It's easy to um, easy to burst if you put too much pressure on it um, at one time. So I'm gonna pre-drill the holes and then run some screws in it and assemble it. to plug in the cord
I just be cutting wood and sanding wood whole day, every day at the back in this workshop. So that's why I just wear this mask. Sometimes I just double it up. So um, yeah, this dust is not good for inhale. So I know I should get a better one, but this is what I'm using right now. Final touches. Look at this beautiful, nice green, hard green. Feel like plastic. So that's the finished product. Alright guys, just have to do a little bit of adjustment, but this is the final product. Hey, if you guys like what you see on this channel, do me a favor, give me a subscribe. I do a lot of um outdoor related stuff from breeding fish to building aquariums and making cabinets and even going on fishing adventures um, so if you like what you see um, give me a subscribe and hit the like button thanks